Hi students, in today's class we are going to learn about some expressions during a group discussion. Before understanding the expressions, you should know what is a group discussion. A group discussion is a formal discussion among 10 to 12 members who analyze the topic and give their opinions and share the information among themselves. Before starting the group discussion, the members are given some time to understand the topic and then discuss on it among themselves. Usually they are given a period of 10 to 15 minutes for a fixed time. Actually a fixed time is given for 10 to 15 minutes in to discuss the topic. One or two experts will observe the discussion and evaluate the members of the group. The topics of the discussion can be either social or the current topic or, or the facts. Okay. For example, a factual topic, smoking is dangerous to health. Okay. A social topic, child labor is an evil, social evil. It can be a topic or any other topic. Why these group discussions are done? The answer is, it is a process of selecting a candidate, rather right candidate for a job. The people, the employer who wants the right candidate will conduct the group discussion as a process of selection to understand the skills and the ability of the candidate. Okay. And he will evaluate the candidate whether the candidate has got the right skills required for the job. That is, as a team he has to work, he has to understand the job properly, he has to put forth his opinions and cooperate among the team members. Okay. While discussion or during the discussion, what are the topics, what are the things observed are required by the candidate and what are the things observed by the experts. Mainly they focus on your knowledge and communication skills. The second is whether you are able to understand the topic and put forth your ideas, supporting your ideas in a logical manner. That is also a very important area where these experts are looking for. The third very important area where these people, the experts or the employers will look for a candidate. This discussion is not just uh, you putting forth your opinions, but it's a two-way process where you have to listen as well as to speak. So you also should have patience to listen to others speech and then Accordingly, you have to put forth your opinions and see that the discussion goes in a smoother way without any sort of disturbances or, uh, uh, you know, harsh expressions, etc. So, this is what a group discussion means. Mm. So, now you would have understood a group discussion is a very, very important, uh, what shall I say, uh, selection process for an employer to select a candidate for a job. Most of the MNCs, even some IFA companies also follow the process to get the correct candidate. After the group discussion, they may conduct personal interview and then final selection will be done so that the candidate whom they select should, will rather will uh, fit to their requirement. Okay. So, what sort of expressions we have to follow regarding or during the discussion, group discussion. You can't be harsh. You can't uh, lose your balance while discussion or you cannot put all your emotions into it. For 10 to 15 minutes, you have to maintain balance and you have to be very cool, confident and you have to Focus on the discussion and you also should have the knowledge of the topic 
and you should be able to take the discussion in a logical manner. Your expressions, I mean your opinions, you have to put forth in a logical manner. That's the most important thing in the group discussion. Hope you understood the uh, importance of group discussion and the process of group discussion. Now, during the group discussion, certain expressions you have to maintain. For example, you are expressing your opinion. So, what sort of uh, words or expressions you should use when expressing an opinion? See, I have given certain expressions. I believe or I think. Could I make a point, please? It seems to me, in my opinion. So, you have to start your expressions. Suppose you wanted to give your opinion. You have to start by using I believe. Okay. For example, okay. Now you believe that due to COVID, the economic status of the country has declined. So, you have to start. I believe that due to COVID. I think due to COVID. Could I make a point please? In my opinion, you have to express that way. Or it seems to me, it seems to me due to COVID. Okay. In my opinion, in my opinion, COVID plays an important role in the economy of India or even the world. Okay. This is how you have to start. That means to express your opinion. Okay. Suppose asking for an opinion. Asking for an opinion means you are trying to get others opinion. You cannot just say, okay, you tell me what is your opinion. You cannot ask like that. It's a group discussion and people are observing you. So how you have to ask them, what is your opinion on? What is your opinion on COVID? Or how do you? Okay, we'll take another topic for child labor. Okay, what is your opinion on child labor? So how do you feel about child labor? In I wonder what you think about child labor. I like to know your stand on child labor. So this is what you have to ask Why asking for others' opinion. So first, you have you, I mean how you have to express your opinion, I told you. The second, how you have to ask for others' opinion. Okay, these are the expressions I have given you. Okay, now let's go to expressing an agreement. So you agree. Somebody said some point and you like the point, you agree with it. Then how you have to say it? Absolutely. You are right. Absolutely you are right. Okay, you are right. Next, I fully agree with you. I fully agree with you. That's true. That's true. That's true. So these are the four expressions you can put forth while expressing agreement. Got it? Okay. Now, suppose you are not agreeing. You are disagreeing with the person's opinion. Then how to say? So, I'm afraid I don't agree with you. You just can't say you're wrong, but please sit. No, this cannot happen during the group discussion. You have to be very polite and you have to be very firm in your opinion. So, suppose you wanted to express disagreement. Then you have to say, I'm afraid I don't agree with I'm sorry, but I see it a little differently. I'm sorry, but I see it in a different way. Okay, so that's the second expression then. I can see your point. I can see your point. I understood what you wanted to say, but that is not. So, you go on like that. So, I can see your point, but, okay, you have to put your opinion there. You may have something there, but you may have something. So, when you said this, you may have some point, but you have to put forth your view. Okay. I respect your point of view. I respect your point of view, but then, I'm sorry, I can't go along with you. I can't go along with you. I'm sorry. I have a different opinion. So, this is how you have to express your disagreement. So, now I taught you four expressions. Expressing your opinion. These are the words. Or these are the phrases you have to make. And asking for an opinion. This is what you can. Four ways you can ask for an opinion. And when you are uh, expressing your agreement. These are the four ways you can agree with them. And expressing your disagreement. These are the methods you can say to express your opinion about your disagreement. Okay. Okay. The next expression what we are going to learn is during the suggestion. 
Suppose during the meeting, you wanted to suggest something. You cannot say, wait, wait, yeah, wait, man, I have some suggestion. You cannot say that. Okay, because I told you it is a formal meeting, formal discussion rather. It's a formal discussion. So what you have to say during suggestion, you have to ask them politely. I think we should. This is suggestion you are giving. I think we should do like this in order to. Okay, so why don't we, this is another expression. Why don't we uh, put forth our ideas to the manager so that we can get a, something like that. Okay, let's. Then couldn't we? Couldn't we do like this? That's another suggestion. Don't you think we could? Don't you think? Don't you guys think that this can happen like that? Okay. How about? How about doing like this? These are the formal expressions we are learning. Suppose you wanted to suggest something. You just cannot stand up and say, Okay, listen, this is my suggestion. No, you cannot do that. So you have to express formally these expressions before suggesting something to them. Okay. Now suppose you want to interrupt, somebody is talking in the discussion. I told you there are 10 to 12 members will be there in the group. So another person is talking. So you have an idea. So you want to interrupt him and put forth your ideas. Then you cannot say, wait, wait a minute. I wanted to say something. You cannot say that because I told you people are observing you. They are evaluating your cooperation skills, knowledge, the way you are dealing, the way you are behaving. Your uh, okay, your uh, behavior during the discussion, your body language, all those things are observed by the experts. So you have to, in case you wanted to interrupt, the other person stop. What you have to say? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have this point. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have some point. Okay, the second expression. Excuse me, could I add something, please? Excuse me. Could I add something please? Your point is correct. But I have another point. Could I add something please? Okay. Next expression. Sorry. But I have to tell this. Sorry. You are standing up and saying. Obviously you are sitting and uh, saying that. Because it will be. You all will be seated round the table. The experts will be there on one side. Okay. You guys will be talking among yourselves. So you have said. Sorry. But I have to do this. Okay. I have to tell you. Suppose while you are talking. Somebody is interrupting you. How are you going to handle them? You cannot say, see when I am talking, why do you stand up and say or why do you interrupt? You cannot say that. Because it's a formal meeting, you have to handle the interruptions in a very smooth way. How are you going to say, just a moment please, could I finish what I am saying? Just a minute please, could I say, could I finish what I am saying? You have to ask. Otherwise, if you would just let me finish, if you would let, just let me finish, then you can Put forth your opinion. Okay, next. Could you wait for a minute, please? Could you wait for a minute? Okay, you wanted to say something. You are interrupting me. Okay, no problem. But could you wait for a minute? Let me finish it. Then you can talk. This is how you have to go about in group discussions. And suppose all of them finish talking and your role to conclude the discussion. So how to conclude a discussion? So you have to say that. To summarize... You have to start like to summarize. These are the points we discussed and we have come to the conclusion like that. Second expression is we could conclude by saying, we can conclude this discussion by saying finally we all agree on, we all agreed on one point and we can, we could conclude by saying so and so. Okay. The next expression is let's run quickly through the main ideas before concluding the discussion. So what are the main ideas discussed? So let us quickly run through those ideas before concluding the discussion. This is how you have to conclude. So I have given you in nutshell. Suppose uh, you are suggesting something or you are agreeing somebody's opinion or disagreeing their opinion or you are asking for somebody's suggestions. How you have to put forth or how you have to express. And also when you are suggesting you are interrupting or you are handling interruptions or conclusion, all these things. Politely, how you have to put forth your expressions during the discussion. Okay, so again we just go through. Group discussion is very important for the seekers of job. Okay, now you are doing a lot of interviews and uh, you will be placed in a group discussion. You will be given some time 
to think about the topic to understand the topic when you are putting your views when you put forth your views how it has to be it should be logical okay and you have to be polite you have to be very balanced you also should take care of your body language not only body language even your expressions okay when you want to express something be very polite use formal language no informal uh, or emotional scenes you should not create there so your anger okay you are uh, what shall i say if you don't like your hatred anger all such things you have to subset suppose you don't like somebody's talk so okay your opinion is entirely different from their view or your view is entirely different from their view also you should have the patience to listen so not only just talking you also should have patience to listen this is very important because the employers will look for a candidate who has patience who has knowledge who has uh, communication skills okay who can be a good team member to cooperate with the members and who can also be very positive who can understand the problem and give suggestions so these are the very important points the employer will be looking in a candidate for selection so all the best to you so whenever you go to group discussion follow these things and definitely you can be very successful in group discussions and securing a good job thank you